Hello, my name is Emily as you, oh, it looks like I'm naked. Um, hello, my name is Emily as you may or may not know and today we are going to be talking about dating shows. <clears throat> dating shows are great for some mindless entertainment. You know, sometimes you don't want to be intellectually stimulated. You know, you need the opposite. You want to be intellectually debilitated. Sometimes you have to forget that the ice caps are melting and instead just worry about whether Lindsay S or Lindsay E is gonna get the final rose. But despite the fun and flirty escapism that dating shows can provide us, um, they are very weird to me to be on, right? I would never be able to be on one. The first dating show I want to talk about is, you know, the good old classic that we all know and love, The Bachelor and Bachelorette, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, this show is very popular, has a, you know, cult following, um, but it would be a living hell for me. First of all, um, I don't really want to have to compete for someone else's attention, especially when it's televised. It's like a bunch of starving hyenas in formal wear that are all chasing after the same piece of ham, who is oftentimes quite average, I fear. Or how the group dates are such a prominent part of the show. Like, if I'm on a date with someone, I would prefer if I would get to talk to you for longer than four minutes, and also if 11 other women weren't present. It's like you're on a date, but if you want to interact with your date, it's like, get to the get back, to of, the the back line, of the line, sister. sister. For me in dating, I don't want to have competition, especially to that degree, all right? Like, if I have to compete, I'm just gonna forfeit. Yeah, so I had um, a really hard time after my grandmother died. Um, you know, she was my support person. So when she died, I just felt this like overwhelming emptiness and- Hi, so sorry. Um, I know that I just talked to him for 45 minutes while all the other women watched me through the window and talked about how ugly my dress is, but could I steal him for a second? Okay. Easy. But honestly, you know, I'm sure that a lot of the people who go on The Bachelor and Bachelorette aren't necessarily all about finding love, right? Because first of all, the format of the show does not really uh, foster an environment that is great for creating the foundation of a long-lasting, healthy relationship, you know? If you actually wanted to find love, I don't really think you would go on the show. I think that you would look elsewhere. Um, <laughs> but where is elsewhere? Tinder? The options really aren't that great. Damn, maybe I will go on the show. But, you know, at the end of the day, let's be real, okay? I think a lot of these people just want to be on TV. This fame thing is going to be so easy. Seriously, I've already become a fan favorite. It's already done, okay? Just, um, don't post any pictures of you and dad on the internet. Well, I may have told everyone that he died of a brain tumor, so... <clears throat> I have to go. How long have you been recording? We're always recording. Can you edit that out? No. Listen, I am here for the right reasons. What, Instagram oh, likes? come on, don't act like everyone else here isn't doing the exact same thing, okay? Why would I look for love in a place where I have to wait in line to talk to my date, all right? Like it's the dick DMV. Cut that out. Wow. All right, whatever. Maybe I'm not here for the right reasons, but a free vacation and some good free food it's not a bad reason. Well, you would be right about the good food because our chefs use HelloFresh to make all of your delicious meals. What? Are you looking for an easy way to eat well and save money at the same time? No. I'm not asking you. I'm asking them. Keep up. Cut back with the pricey takeout and get started with HelloFresh. You will love how affordable and easy it is to whip up restaurant quality food within your own kitchen. Isn't this supposed to be my interview? You're here to get followers and be an influencer, right? So why don't you just participate instead of just sitting there? We all want to try and save some money, right? And HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Not bad. So skip the treacherous journey to the grocery store and get your snacks, sides, and desserts with HelloFresh. Just add them onto your weekly meals and they will show up right at your doorstep. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious. With over 35 weekly meals, there are plenty of options to help you reach your goals. You can choose calorie smart or carb smart recipes and you can even customize your meals by upgrading your proteins or switching your proteins and sides or adding proteins to a veggie dish. All right, now get in the kitchen. What? 
I love HelloFresh because it makes cooking at home so easy by giving you everything you need and telling you what you need to do step by step. I mean, if she can do it, anyone can. Eating well is at the top of people's mind this time of year, and it is comforting to know that you can always get top quality with HelloFresh. Ingredients travel from the farm to you in less than seven days so that you know it's fresh. Hello? Fresh. Where are you? I was cooking! Also, why do I have to sit on the floor? The budget is low this year. Whatever. It's neither here nor there. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. The next show I want to talk about is Too Hot to Handle. And y'all, this show is fucking crazy to me. Now how the show works is basically you have $200,000 to split between a group of hot and horny people living in the same house. And if anyone in the house does something sexual, then money is deducted from the total. So everybody loses money if you can't keep the hot dogs away from the buns, or the buns away from the buns, or the hot dogs away from the hot dogs, you know. And in the house, you're constantly being surveillance. There's like this Alexa type thing that they call Lana that basically gets them together in little hot people meetings and exposes the people, you know, about like who slept with who, who, and who's losing money for everyone. She basically puts everyone on hot and horny blast. Hot and horny blast sounds like if Viagra and Taco Bell did a collab. And I'm sorry, but if I lose money because some of y'all have a libido that's more out of control than an 18-wheeler with no brakes, um, I'm sorry, but it's neuter o'clock, y'all. It's, it's time to, it's, it's chop chop. Chop chop time. Okay, slice and dice Benny Hanna, baby. baby. And when I was first watching the show, I was like, okay, listen, I get it. I have urges too, like the rest of you disgusting vermin. Um, but I think that I would be able to control myself for the sake of $200,000, okay? But evidently, it is quite hard for some people to keep their hands to themselves, even when there's money involved. Hello, everyone. Last night, there was a breach of the rules. You have got to be kidding me. Amanda, last night, you went to Jordan's bed. Can you tell the group what happened? We were wrestling. Do you normally need a condom for a wrestling match? Um, I'm not a professional, so... Do you also normally call your opponent my big buff boy baby cakes? <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? During a wrestling match. Again, I'm not a professional, so... This has resulted in a deduction of $20,000, <gasps> pushing the total at negative 10000 Wait, we owe money now? The last dating show I want to talk about is Love is Blind. Now in this show, you spend 10 days in these individual pods where you get to know people without seeing what they look like. For the people who form a connection, they can propose to each other and then get engaged, and only after they get engaged can they see each other in person. After they meet face-to-face -face and get engaged, they go to a resort, and then they live together, and they get to know each other within 28 days. And then at the end, they have to decide whether they get married or not. So, it's a very quick process. Um, it's like lesbian dating, but worse. I just feel like when you do get engaged and then you finally meet them face to face, what if you're not attracted to them physically? Because yes, looks aren't everything, um, but they are something, <laughs> right? Oh my god. Oh! Wow. This is amazing. I cannot believe that this is my fiance. <laughs> I mean, hello, everyone take a look. Not, don't look too hard though, all right? You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. But this is incredible. This is better than I could have ever imagined. Yes, yeah, this is definitely happening. It's magical. <laughs> it is an occurrence. And obviously I get that the rush time frame of the show is what makes it unique and it raises the stakes. Um, you know, obviously the show wouldn't be as interesting otherwise. But I personally don't think I could ever even consider marrying somebody that I've known for that small amount of time. I mean, I don't even know if I could marry anybody, period. So just because of the type of person I am when it comes to love, um, I could absolutely never be on this show. I mean, let's be honest, you're practically marrying a stranger if you've only known them for less than two months. I still can't believe you're my wife. I know, it's crazy. It, just, it feels like the time has passed by so quickly. Well, it was only like two months, so. Yeah, well. Do you want any cereal? Yeah, sure. Okay.
Wait. You pour the milk before your cereal? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, 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 no. It, it's not that serious. I, you know, we're still learning more about each other. So, you know what? Why don't we just skip the cereal and, you know, let's get ice cream and then hang out in the park and watch the sunset, you know, as newlyweds. Oh, I can't go to the park. Why? Allergies? I'm a sex offender. What? So, you know, these shows, I think a lot of people associate them more with uh, mindless entertainment, uh, quick fame, than, you know, actually finding love, just because, like, the framework of the shows make it kind of difficult to, like, have a long-lasting relationship. And, you know, whether you meet on a dating show or not, most relationships don't last forever, you know? You either break up or you get married. And even when you get married, you can get divorced, so... The odds aren't really in our favor, are they? But I'm curious, comment down below, do you think that you'd be able to fall in love um, in that type of televised environment? I mean, I think it would be hard for me, but like if I meet someone and you know, I like them, then I mean, I guess it's a wrap. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And you know, I hope we all find the loves of our lives, whether it's televised or not, right? <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah. Until next time. Okay. And no sex. I started to plan to... And no sex. <laughs> you normally need a condom for a... <laughs> Do you also normally call your opponent? My big buff boy baby cakes.